Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, I am going to give you guys the answers of the interview questions that I have discussed in the previous shots. But before getting started, if you really like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So let's get started. So the first question was, I have a query for an example, I have a query where I am going to, uh, that the query would look like select id account underscore underscore r dot name an email from custom object right i'm going to query such thing I'm going to store it somewhere and then inside the map what i'm going to do is id would be the the whatever the id of this record that i'm going to find would be the key okay and the value will be the whole record itself right so the map would be a uh, map would something uh, look like map of id comma custom object right that's that's how it's gonna look like so <clears throat> the goal is what i want is from this map i should be able to get account r dot email and account r dot name can i get it first of all that's the question so let's jump into our salesforce org so if you guys can see i have one custom object object named as custom object and inside that i have created a lookup field to the account right i have created lookup field to the account now i have also created the record of this custom object so if i go to this record this is the record of the custom object named as test record and inside this test record I have an account record okay out of this account record account lookup okay, actually an account lookup uh, and out of this account lookup I have a phone number field as well so if I want to get the phone number field of this particular accounts uh, custom object so to do that I have to run such kind of query select id account underscore underscore r dot phone from custom object where id equals to this 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 whatever the id of the record is right so i'm going to get it and if i run it i am able to get the phone number from the custom object phone number of the account from the custom object itself so the question is can i store it within the map and will i still be able to get it okay so let's run this query first of all let's run this query right i am running this query now it's gonna return me the list of custom objects. Now on this list of the custom object, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use map of id comma maps new equals to new map of id comma. <coughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop over this record one by one and I'm going to populate the map that I have. So this maps new I will get dot put CST dot ID comma CST itself the whole custom object itself so this is perfectly fine now my main goal is will I be able to get the uh, relationship right will I be able to get account RR dot phone from this map now if you all know uh, the cust list of course if I'm going to pass one ID it's only going to return one record itself it's not going to return multiple record but instead it's going to return only one record itself and inside the map i will only have one record when id itself so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to write system dot debug get the phone plus maps new dot get i'll pass this particular record id let's see what's what will i get <coughs> okay if i'm running it i'm getting the whole custom object record but out of this custom object i just want the phone right i want to get this account rr underscore phone so to do that what i can use is i can use dot get once more and I can provide this particular field that I want to and I think so it should work fine let's run it again but you can see it's giving an error so if I was running the query normally it was working perfectly fine so uh, 
for an example if i try to uh, system dot debug over here if i print it over here okay it's giving an error over here but if it's giving error over here it should give error over here as well if i'm trying to retrieve it this way so if i run this query again it should give an error right because before it was giving error because i was using get but now i'm not getting an error i am able to get the record itself so if you can see at 12312 which was a phone number of the account that we have tagged i was able to get it at line number nine but when i was trying to get it using the map i was not able to do it so basically we directly cannot get the record for an example if you saw if i'm using if i want uh, this phone number uh, attached to this phone number of account attached to this custom object i was able to get it using uncard underscore underscore dot phone but if it i the same thing is populated inside the map itself right so it should not differ at all so if i'm populating the same thing inside the map and from that map I'm, if i'm trying to get the particular field that is account underscore underscore phone it's failing it's throwing an error and i did not know till this point that this kind of error usually comes but i faced this uh, recently but this kind of error comes you directly cannot access the uh, lookup fields directly so if i run See, it's giving me an error. I can underscore underscore r dot phone for custom object. This is an error. So you you cannot do it. Okay, you cannot do it. But there is a work workaround. You can you can use that workaround. So how can you do it? Is first you can get the s object. <clears throat> so what you can do it? You can use get s get s object and provide the s object relationship name. Okay, for r for us the relationship name is account underscore underscore r right. And using that same relationship name, you can use dot get, and you can provide whatever field name that you want. And from that, you just wanted phone. So instead of using directly get account underscore underscore r dot phone, you can use get s objects. So this will help you to get the relationship between dot between that uh, object and uh, between the object like custom object and account. This is the relationship, it and from that relationship, we are getting the phone. So let's see whether it works or not. Okay, this works because we did not get any error. So if you see, the phone is one two three one two. So this is working fine. So this is how you can get the relationship field. This is one of the interview question that can be asked because this is the challenge that I have faced recently. Let's move on to the next question. Next question says that how can we add validation inside the screen flows in the same screen? So previously, what used to happen is uh, you had to create a like for an example. <coughs> so previously, what used to do is we used to create one screen, right? Inside the screen, we used to use decisions. Right inside these decisions, and if the decision is fine, or if the record that you are passing is validated, that's fine. You can go ahead. But if it's not validated, you can again show the screen and give an error message that you want to. But the problem with this is you have to use two screens just to validate the record. What if I just want to don't want to go till the decisions? Instead, I want to validate over here itself. I don't want to go to the decisions and add one more screen to show whether I am getting an error or not. Instead, why can't I use just one screen itself? So answer is we can use it. You can just go to flows. So for an example, this is an auto launch. No, we don't need an auto launch. We need a screen for it. So this is a cancel item. Mm -hmm. let's consider this flow show all email template flow
okay just to answer your question to in order to solve this issue there is a validity column inside the screen itself if you drag a screen there's a validity column itself inside that you can add whatever validation that you want so for an example if i have the screen over here if you see if i click on this I, I, if i scroll down if i go to advanced i think so there would be not over here okay let's add a text field okay inside this uh, screen you can see validate input right you can validate whatever you want over here and this is the part where you add the error message sorry and you can validate whatever formula you want for an example if this date is greater than this date to fire an error message you can add the formula over here and you can show that error message over here for that particular formula so what happens is validation is shown at the same screen itself you don't need to move further screens right you can use one screen and you can show all the validations that you need let's move on to the next question next is while inserting the records inside trigger.new can we access the lookup fields values so let's consider i have a contact okay it's yet to be inserted so this means it's 18 digits id is not created okay and what i did was inside this contact i have provided the name as let's say salesforce in five minutes right i provided this kind of name okay let's consider this is a this as a last name okay and there is one more field name named as account lookup okay i have provided the account lookup as uh, let's consider is at 18 digit id and consider that uh, the id that id is pointing to the account named as test account okay so this is the id that i am passing one two three whatever it might be okay so i'm just passing an account id but this contact itself is not yet created right so if the contact is not yet self created if i'm if i'm trying to access the lookup field value that is the thing but this account field value the account is not yet tagged to this record right this 18 digit id is yet not tagged because the account contact itself is not get created so while inserting the record because the record is not yet inserted before inserting if you're trying to access the lookup field values you won't be able to get any value the reason is because of course the record itself is not tagged at all so you cannot you can get this record but you cannot go deeper just like account underscore underscore r dot phone you cannot get something like this you can get till lookup that's fine but you cannot go deeper than this okay like you cannot go account underscore underscore r dot phone or even <coughs> one more one more level deeper right for an example account underscore underscore r let's say i've created one more custom lookup inside account and phone I can't do it if I'm using trigger.new and I'm inserting the record itself because the record itself is not yet created or the, the record itself is not yet tagged or the record that is tagged, uh, the values are not available to the current record. So while inserting the record, you won't be able to access the lookup fields values like account underscore underscore r dot phone and account underscore underscore r dot email. You cannot access it. So these are the few answers to your interview questions. If you like this video, if you found this video helpful, if you learn something at all, please do subscribe to this channel.